day everybody so out here working with Daniel and we just got attacked by chopping wood we just got attacked by bees little bees and they they're right by the firewood pile I don't know what to do with them because they've made like a nest like a round nest and they're not like the good bees they're the little really mean bees here look at this so we were stacking wood chopping wood doing all that stuff and then if you look under here under here i want to be careful because i don't want to get stunned again let's see if you guys can see i'm gonna sneak up on them quietly these guys are mean can you see it where is it right there I don't know if you guys can see them or not. The light. Where are they? Right there? No. Right there. Those guys. Oh, man, are they mean. They're small and mean. Better get rid of them. Well, right there they are. Right by the firewood. They didn't build that nest fast. So we were just chopping this stuff up cleaning it and ran into those bees okay so we have a bee problem we got to figure out how to get rid of them gotta get rid of them but meanwhile let me show you this here this I'm prepping 25 feet 25 feet 25 more feet 25 25 25 25 25 25 2 inch 25 got about 300 plus feet of wait 300 here plus 200 500 feet of hose fireman hose i got a pump back by the river look it's gonna be for what i call the biggest slip and slide in french creek see that hill out there right there I'm gonna have a 200 foot slip and slide going down that hill so i'm going to be pumping water from back here i already have some hoses hooked up and the, i'm going to run this two inch hose all the way up there and then do a major nice slip and slide so should be interesting should be interesting so we're gonna test it out today i'm gonna unroll all those hoses see how high they go and see what the pressure is but it's quite a bit of hoses so i think i have from this fence all the way up to the hill it's about 300 feet so i have more than enough hose it'll convert to a one inch last 200 feet it'll convert to this one inch pipe so i got 300 feet of this i got 200 feet of this one inch pipe and that's what's going to be up top so let's see how it works keep you posted change of plans Instead of chopping firewood, I got I'm gonna I got Daniel mowing and I just parked all the stuff back there. And I'm gonna go work on the four-wheeler a little bit. Um change the oil and I got this uh thing, it's called like a regulator for voltage, so I'm gonna go put that on so the battery charges up nice and it doesn't die on me all the time. So I got a few other things I gotta take care of here today, but just trying to move things along getting pre prepped and ready for the weekend we have some people coming out to the property relatives my brothers and sisters from Virginia coming up so should be a fun weekend I just want to make sure everything is nice and ready when they get here all right so we got the hoses connected out there where Daniel is and then that's not even all the two two inch this is all two inch hose it's about to start going I just want to see what the pressure looks like at the end that's about, um, I don't know, a couple of hundred feet of hose. Oh, wow. It's really good pressure back there. <laughs> so, and then I got probably another 50 feet of two inch hose and a couple of hundred feet of one inch. That's going to go way up on the hill there. This is all water coming from the creek. Check it out. Wow good pressure yeah 
It's gonna be one heck of a slipper slide. Look at this thing. That's nice. Nice. Thick. Good screen. All right. Hey, run and uh, turn it off. Just a red switch flip on. Ooh, that's great. This makes me happy right here. So we got a lot of two and holes and you got a bug in my eye here. Okay, and just nice, a full two inch thick string. I mean, one, when it's shorter down there, obviously it just throws the water up higher, but this is what I need. I just need good consistent pressure going up on the hill. There, he shut it off. Wow, great. That's awesome. We got real good pressure for the slippy slide now. We're gonna set one up for this weekend. Just coming off the hill over there. It's nice. I'm gonna try to do, I got thick plastic. I'm gonna use like really thick, heavy tarp plastic. And we're gonna make it, make it happen. So I'm, I'm happy the water system works here. Okay, so that's a wrap for the day. We got the water going. Daniel mowed a bunch of the fields. Um, what else? I worked on the four wheeler a little bit. Yeah, the four wheeler. Got to replace a couple of wires. The guy that had it before me did a slab job, patch up, patch up job with the stator to the regulator. So I got a new regulator, order a new stator. I'm gonna do the wires new, just so everything is new there. Put that together before the weekend, hopefully. Um, and yeah, things are moving along, kind of looks nice out. One thing I will say though, and I think this takes practice, is, you know, every, we're always tempted to take shortcuts, do slab jobs, and that's not what I'm about. So thought of the day, don't do slab job, do it right. So. I'm gonna do it right, make sure I never have to look at those wires ever again. And if the next person that gets it, you know, uh, if I do end up selling it, they're gonna have a good four wheeler. That's gonna work right, and everything's gonna be nice. So um, do things that, you, that you're gonna be happy of, and you know, uh, not don't take shortcuts. Thought of the day. So uh, God bless. Uh, and uh, see you next time. Yeah, things are moving along, so uh, stay tuned.